Do not let imposter syndrome stop you from growing or pursuing your career in tech. Yo, what's up? I'm Melky and I'm a software engineer at Twitch. And today I'm going to be talking about one of the most popular topics in tech. One that I always get asked about imposter syndrome. You've definitely felt imposter syndrome at least once in your career and you may have gone over it or you're still going through it right now. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I also felt imposter syndrome because I think everyone does at one point in their career, how I overcame it, some tips that I learned and what is really the main thing I keep in the back of my mind where I don't necessarily feel imposter syndrome as often as I used to or ever. First, let's start off with a definition. What is imposter syndrome? Melky, what are you talking about right now? In programming slash tech, imposter syndrome is the persistent belief of inadequacy and fear of not being good enough, despite evidence of competence and skills. So basically, you feel like you're not good enough. You're not smart enough. You can't do it. You're not skilled enough. You're not experienced enough. You're not qualified enough. You are not good enough enough in your mind relative to the environment you are in and secondly before we even go further i just want to say it's okay to feel this do not feel bad if you are currently going through this motion or you're currently feeling this we are human it's instinct it's your inner gut telling you something is off however with that being said you cannot let feeling inadequate become a habit of yours or get into a cycle where you feel inadequate and you feel good and you're back in, you're in, you're out, you're in, you're out. But more importantly, you definitely do not want imposter syndrome to manifest itself into the progression of you and your career. So my experience with imposter syndrome went a little like this. You see, when I joined Twitch, I came from a scrappy startup that I got acquired. And I thought I knew what I was doing. I thought I was so smart, so brilliant. I knew how to go. I knew how to do everything. I was quickly humbled when I joined and met my senior engineer and tech lead at the time. They really knew. They're like one of those wizards where you can just ask them a question. You can look at an out-of-context snippet of code without even looking at Stack Overflow and say, implement it this way or change this or how do you consider that? And it's like, no, I haven't considered that. How do you even know this? And then it all hit me. What if he thinks I'm dumb? Am I not good enough to be here? Is everyone like this? Am I the only one who doesn't know what I'm doing? Yeah, it felt terrible. I will admit it felt terrible. I obviously went through the roller coaster of emotions, decided if I want to do this, it was bad. But then I remembered one crucial aspect of imposter syndrome that really has helped me back then and to this day it's helped me not get back into imposter syndrome the main point of imposter syndrome is focus on the actual issue and not the people you are comparing yourself to not everyone is going to be a genius the first time they do something or automatically get things right the first time in my example, I knew right away the issue were my technical abilities. I did not feel competent next to my tech lead. I felt there was a gap. So what did I do? I just focused on getting better at code. I wrote more code. I read more code. I read about code. I asked questions and I got better. And even today, almost two years later, that tech lead is now my manager. And now I'm the tech lead of our team. And he is still so much better than me at programming. I still ask him for technical advice very often. He still helps me with technical abilities. And that's fine because in those two years, I got hella better at programming. I can look back at those two years and say, well, I'm still not good enough. That was so bad. I'm so sad. I'm <laughs> or I could look back at those two years and say, damn, now me and my tech lead can talk at an even level and we can go back and forth about technical topics and technical debts and intricate engineering details. And do you know why that's important? It's because comparison is the thief of joy. My point is, if you're constantly comparing yourself to someone else, you're never going to be happy. You're never going to be satisfied and you will never be content with yourself. 
And that's the truth about imposter syndrome. That's the TLDR. You are focusing on the wrong problem. And if you're watching this and you're on your lead code grind and you've been stuck in a problem for a few hours, so you hop on YouTube to find a solution, but then you find a kid who's 10 years younger than you solving in a lower level language that you've never heard of blindfolded, or if you're applying to jobs and you don't have any luck, but your classmates are all getting hired and you think to yourself, what's the point? I will never be good. Stop and take a breath. There's no point in comparing yourself to others. You're on your own journey. You're on your own timeline. You have your own problems. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're going through the motions, well, you're not alone. Make sure you join the Discord. We have a great community building. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure you comment, click, like, and subscribe because it helps the channel tremendously. But as always, I gotta leave you guys with two things. One is you're way better than you give yourself credit for. We're always our biggest critique. So stop and smell the roses, enjoy where you came from and where you're at right now, and two, you gotta pow it.